hey guys so today we're going to be looking at how to make Instagram videos so right here I have a video that I'm currently working on and I want to make it formatted for Instagram okay so we're gonna get started the first thing I'm going to do is create a sequence I'm gonna create a new sequence by going to new item right here then sequence then I'm going to select digital SLR 1080p and 24 then I'm going to go to settings then we're going to change this right here the frame size to 1080 Instagram uses a one by one frame size of 1080 and then I'm going to go to the sequence name just to stay organized I'm going to change the name to IG then I'll click OK so now essentially what I want to do is I want to bring this video into this sequence so I'm going to first locate the sequence so we're going to review sequence and project okay now this is the this is the sequence right here then I'm going to go to this new IG sequence and I'm going to drag and drop the video to the sequence so when this prompt comes up just say keep existing settings because we don't want to change the settings and when we play the video, we have this. So this is okay for now, but I want to be able to see the entire video. Now I'm going to right click and click on scale to frame size. So this now brings the entire video into the sequence. And let's say sometimes I want some parts to be really big. I can just cut the video by using the razor to cut. So if I want from this part to this part to the full screen, then I can just uncheck the scale to frame size and then right here. So I have something like so now I have something like this. One of our signature dishes at the restaurant. It's really cool to have So we can play around based on what you like and the way you like the video to be. But I normally We'll keep it this way because I want to put some text right here. And let's say, for example, I want to change this from black to white, or I want to make it any other color. We're going to go to new item right here, color mat. Just press OK, and then we're going to change it to whatever color we want it to. So I want it to be white for this tutorial. OK, then we're going to find the color mat, which is right here, and I'm going to drag and drop it to my right here so I'm extending it so the first thing we see is it's a full white screen now I'm going to click on it and go to effects right here and I'm going to type crop and drag and drop it so what crop will allow us to do is crop some part of the clip then I just want to crop the top part of the clip so we're going to crop it out and there we go right there so no, almost cool so now I want to double it I want to do the same thing to the top so I'm gonna press and hold the alt key then drag this clip up so what that's gonna do is that's gonna copy it so now I have the top part cropped then I'm going to change it back to zero then I'm going to crop the bottom part instead so now I have that right there so if I want to add a logo I want to add text information and any other thing I can easily just put it on top and the bottom so for this case I'm going to put a logo I'm going to put a logo on top so let me find the logo that we can use okay so here's a logo and I'm going to go to effect controls and put it down a little bit then I can just put it up right here so I'm going to expand it all the way to the duration of the video so now I have it I have it all across the video so let's say I want to put some text information right at the bottom over here I'll, I'll just press T or go to text right here then we're going to type it and other 
Right now, it's currently we can't see anything because we're writing white on white. So first, I'm gonna highlight this command A. Then we're going to change the color. So on effect controls, we're gonna go to text. I'm gonna change the fill to black or any other color that you want. So now we can see the information, and then I can easily just drag this, put it in the center. Oops, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna change that other info. And if you want to put, you know, put a stroke on it, change the color of the stroke. You know, however you want. That's basically how to create Instagram formatted video. Now we're going to export the video. So in order to export, we have to first make sure that we'll click on the sequence, then we'll go to File, Export Media, or we can just hit Command M, Command M, and the box comes up. So we'll go to Format H.264, Preset Match Source High Bit Rate, and then Output Name. We always want to change the location so that we know where our file is. I'll just keep it on IG, then click on save. Then now we're going to export and that's it. Awesome, so we're done. Now we're going to go over to the desktop and let's play what we have. Okay, so now we have everything. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel.